let's see the coding part of the four code password once again uh, in the four code password on the submit button just double click and create a event handler and I have just directly taken some code over there here we have, con uh, we have made a connection and open the connection after the, after that I have taken a command and set the connection of the command and command text to the, this query in this query we are uh, retrieving, retrieving the password and mail id from the uh, user tbl users where login id is on the uh, text box uh, whatever text is written in this text box and after that we will uh, take a data reader and execute this editor and if dr dot read if there is any record is treated then this read method will return a true otherwise it will return a false if read method returns to false in that case it means whatever condition uh, uh, we have given in the where condition where close this condition is not satisfied with the any of the row in the table uh, tbl users so it means that uh, whatever login id um, mail id means login id we have passed in the uh, forward password text box it will be uh, it is uh, not a correct mail, a login id or uh, this user is not exist so for this in the else part i am just uh, giving some error message that but this user does not exist or, or, or just a type simple that please enter correct login id ah, but if the login id is correct then uh, what we have to do we have to send this password to uh, send uh, this particular password to this mail id so for this let's call a let's create a function and let's call from this send send mail sorry this is not the right way that uh, first of all you have to create the function and after that we should call but uh, at this time i'm just calling first of all i'm calling this function and pass some parameter okay no, oh sorry not a string let's take a dr v password dot two string one is password and second one is dr v mail id dot two string now two string type of parameter is passed to the send mail now <coughs> after this uh, event handler i just write a i'm just going to write a function send mail and i have to take two string type of parameter one is for the password and another next one is for the mail id where we have to send this account information means main mail id so for sending this mail id let's first of all uh, we have to take a, uh, we have to uh, use a name is the system dot net dot mail and here first of all we have uh, two mail address so mail address two here we have to give the mail address so mail id uh, sorry mail id and second mail address from so this mail can be from admin at the rate uh, 
max tag job portal dot com and after that we have to take a message mail message msg equal to new mail message and in the mail message uh, whenever creating the uh, whenever we create the object of this mail message we have to give a from and a to mail id so the from and to we are having two mail ids and now message dot bot uh, subject uh, we can write in the subject that max tech job portal account in for mission and after that message subject um, I will just take the body of this message in the body we will just pass the password so I uh, am writing a B for the bold we can also use HTML uh, text in the message so like password colon and plus password this is the password variable and if we are using any HTML tags in the body portion then we have to give is body HTML equal to true it means the body contains the HTML also so this content will be treated as a HTML document now uh, here is the message is ready over and we have to send this using SMTP client services SMTP client Uh, just create an object and new SMTP client and here we have to give host name and port number so host name is in at this time uh, we are having host name is local host but by the local host uh, at this time we are not able to send any mail so whenever we put this uh, application on some server then we have to use the server a mail ser uh, servers mail server that uh, which ser uh, mail server is using this server and generally port number is the 25 port which is used by the uh, SMTP client and after that obj dot send and in the send method we have to pass the message and now at last lbl error dot text equal to your password has been sent sent to your mail id or if you want to show the mail id also you can also show the mail id like uh, what is the, this is the mail id okay and we will also place some exception handling code because at present it will not send any message it will give the error simple catch exception ex lbl error dot text equal to error plus ex dot message now this is our forward password pages completed 
so whenever you execute this uh, for code pass let's execute this the login page in the user side at the login page there is the forward password and suppose I give some login ID yes error failure sending mail this is due to the uh, mail server and if suppose I give some uh, wrong mail ID and it will give please enter correct login ID so now this is over forgot password page now in this job portal uh, almost every static and dynamic page is completed in the admin and user side now you can extend this website as you want uh, that suppose you want to make some uh, strong profile page so like this suppose uh, suppose if, if uh, hmm, well it's the password suppose if you want to make this page more strong that if you want to include the uh, images also uh, here that uh, uh, any user can up, uh, upload his image and many more things we can do but the procedure will be the same for all this